Hi, welcome to the Papers Now. This is Tara. It is day two for Christie's 30 Days of Sketches, and this is day two's sketch. This is by Nicole Santos, and I adore this because it caused me to dig into my scraps and pull out papers that are still usable that I have not been using. The other thing that I did is I don't know if anybody else does this, but I keep this little four by six case full of cut files or die cuts that I have cut out and haven't used just like, you know, this little thing that's really cute. Um, I don't throw them away, I keep them. And so I dug through this first looking for embellishments because, you know, they're sitting there, they need to get used. And I found all of these stars so when I was looking for papers, I started with my multicolored scrap folder and I pulled this piece of paper. And from there, I matched the rest of the papers. These are all of the stars that I chose. I know that I won't use them all, but I pulled out a few so that I'd have several different sizes and colors to play with, I'm trying to get as close to this as possible. You can see that some of these patterns are Vicky Booten. Some of them are from Bungalow Lane. Um, so anyway, I chose scraps. This is from yesterday's layout. It's a nice little notebook piece and I thought I could do some journaling on it. And these photos are of my son who is doing recruiting duty. And these are brand new photos of him. So I went ahead and printed those. And then I just chose some various scraps from my scrap bin. I have this green and this green and that piece. So I just thought I would just go ahead and do something with those. Um, I did notice that the green in her rainbow is a little bit wider. I'm guessing about two inches. And then the yellow here is a little bit wider, but this is more like an inch. And then this one's a little bit wider. And so I'm thinking we'll be doing some gradient strip sizes here. So I'm going to stop the video and then restart it and fast forward so that you don't have to listen to me ramble and cut and I'll be back. So let's go ahead and get started with cutting the strips. First off, I'm going to start with the polka dot paper that served as my inspiration for all of the other patterns that I chose to put into my little pile of scraps for this layout. I am cutting two one inch strips. I know I won't need two one inch strips, but I'm just cutting an extra one just in case something happens, I mess it up or something and I wanna make sure I have an extra one. This is a piece of denim paper. I am cutting it in, I believe one and a half or maybe one and three quarters because it is a little bit larger than um, the other strips according to the um, sketch. You'll have to excuse Jasper. He thinks he needs to be in the video again today and he's given me a kind of a rough time today about joining in. So next up I'm going to cut this Obed Marshall um, pink with white stars. This was one of my favorite papers from his first collection and it is the only piece I think I have left and so while I normally wouldn't put pink on a boy layout, I am putting pink on this layout because my polka dot paper has a little bit of pink in it. And Garrett won't mind because he likes all colors. In fact, his favorite color is purple. And ironically, I'm not even putting purple on this layout at all for him. But, you know, back to cutting. I'm cutting um, this yellow gingham, and I believe that's from Pink Fresh is the best day collection. It's one inches. This is a piece of pattern paper. I'm not sure where it came from. I believe it is a little bit thinner than the rest of the papers. And I cut it, I believe two inches or maybe that one's only one and a half inches. 
I was going to cut that teal cardstock, but I think I have decided I'm gonna back my photos with it instead. So I'm definitely going to back my photos with white, white cardstock first. I'm gonna cut it down to not quite three and a quarter inches by not quite four and a quarter inches for the white cardstock. And then I'm gonna mat each photo with the white cardstock first, and then I'm gonna mat them with that teal cardstock next. So I did mention that I am using scraps to create this layout for today. I have quite a few scraps and I have found that I have been neglecting them and I'm moving from place to place when the army moves us with a lot of scraps. That seems silly to me. So I've been making it a point to make sure that I dig through each color folder of my scraps and make sure that I pull um, the scraps that might match my layouts, especially if I'm using the, the scraps for backing. So I'm gonna begin cutting down these strips of paper and I'm going to start laying them out on my white cardstock. So I am using the sketch as a reference as I cut down each of my colored strips. I have it placed in front of me where I can see it, although you cannot. I am bringing in this yellow embossed cardstock. Card stock. I wasn't sure I was going to need it, but then realized I didn't have quite enough colors cut. And I really like this color of yellow and I really like this embossed cardstock. It came in a paper pad and it's probably a set by my mind's eye. It was Color Coordinations, I think was the, the com company who made those paper pads. I don't even know if they're in business anymore, but I have several of their paper pads full of different embossed card stocks that I really need to use up. And this was one that I used in a previous layout. And so I kept the scrap because it was so pretty. As I cut down these strips, I am setting them to the left side of my workspace so that I don't mix them up with anything else that is on the right hand side because the right hand side has got several little piles of strips that I have cut for this layout and I'm just trying to make sure I get the ones that I know I'm going to use set aside and keep the extra pieces out of the way. At this point, I have cut all of the pieces that I need and I'm gonna set my trimmer out of the way and I'm gonna begin setting the strips up. I'm gonna start with that teal dot, polka dot and then bring in the pink and then I'm just gonna start building them up. That multicolor polka dot that I used as the basis for my colors, I'm wanting to use that as a landing point for my two photos. So I'm making sure that I position it right where I think those photos are going to end up. So I'm making sure that those strips end up where I want them. I'm gonna try to kind of even them out a little bit and then I'm gonna finish matting my photos with the teal cardstock that I showed you at the beginning of this part of the video. So once I get these photos matted, I'm gonna go ahead and begin playing with the placement of the stars and photos and title and everything, just to give myself an idea of where things might land on this layout. I'm not gonna glue anything down on camera right yet. I'm just gonna kind of play around and decide where I want the stars, photos, title, and make sure that I leave a place for journaling. The sketch didn't have journaling on it, but if you know me, you know I almost always put journaling on my layouts. And so I am going to make sure that I create a spot for that layout. So I gave myself plenty of choices with these stars. There's multiple sizes, multiple colors. Some of the colors aren't in my pattern papers, but I'm gonna use them anyway because I feel like they still go really well. And I I'm, I'm actually am very, very pleased with how this layout turned out. I think that the original layout had clusters of four stars in each of the three embellishment clusters and I kind of stick to that a little bit as I play with the different sizes. I didn't have as many of the little bitty ones as I thought I did and that's okay because I'm going to pull in some 
buttons galore and more little star embellishments that I have from my time as a design team member with them and they'll be nice on here and give just a little bit of sparkle to this layout. So I think I've just about got all of the stars that I want to put on here. I'm kind of searching for a couple of smaller stars to add to this, but I'm pretty pleased at this moment with the placement of these stars. I might move them around a little bit in the gluing down portion of this, but otherwise I'm pretty pleased with what I have. And of course, as I sit back and look at this layout, Although it's not finished yet, I realize it's missing something. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that title there and guess what? I'm gonna hand stitch. I'm gonna hand stitch each and every single one of those strips. I'm only gonna do a little bit on camera and then I'm gonna bring it back into you completely stitched. Okay, so it's all stitched now, and now it's time to actually build this layout and start gluing. But first, I also decided that it needed a little bit of inking and mixed media in here, and I'm not wanting to get it too wet. So I'm gonna bring in my Pink Fresh Studio Gray. It's the lightest gray that I have, and a stencil brush, which ends up not working. So I'm gonna grab a different brush to use on that and make it a little bit darker because it's just not dark enough and so I went and got a different brush and this gives me the desired effect that I'm looking for and so I have found that I really love this stencil. I've used it I think four or five times over the last month and it's always looked a little bit different on every single layout that I have created with it, but I really, really like it. So this is some fun foam. I'm gonna cut this piece down. I'm gonna put a little bit on each of the two photos on the back, just to pop them up and give a little bit of dimension to my layout. I'm gonna use my ATG gun to go ahead and adhere these to my background, my finished background now. This is my son Garrett, and I actually did day one sketch using a picture of him and his wife. This photo is actually taken within the last week or two, so it is a current photo of my son Garrett, Garrett who is a US Marine Corps recruiter working in California currently. And I believe these are some official photos for Recruit Command. I've talked about this before. I like to use the part of the foam dots that you would throw away as foam adhesive on my layouts. One, it doesn't end up in a landfill. And two, when you cut it down because there were circles on it, you are able to move the, the place where the circles are around on your embellishment and get it to fit just perfectly. So this works really, really well with embellishments such as stars. So when I was working on my background off camera with the stitching, before I took all of the embellishments off of my background, I methodically set them aside where they were gonna end up on my layout. And then right here at the very last minute, I decided that I was gonna take this top left hand embellishments and I was gonna use them on the right middle instead because that larger star wouldn't fit near my photo where I had originally intended it. So I think I've got the stars just about where I want them. And if you will notice up at the top of my layout, I have two pieces of flare. 
I was looking for a flare that I thought I purchased that had Garrett's initial on it and I was going to use it on this layout but I didn't find it so either I overlooked it when I was digging through my flare or I've already used it on another layout that is possible but I have most of the other initials of my kids so I thought it was kind of weird that I couldn't find it but I didn't want to dig through flare for too long today I just wanted to get a couple flare onto this layout now I'm going to add my uh, my title and I'm choosing the word authentic from this keeping it real pink fresh phrase set they're puffy stickers by pink fresh and I really like the look of the puffy stickers they do not stick very well so you do have to go in with liquid adhesive and make sure that you adhere them properly to your page. I already mentioned that I like to make sure that I get journaling on my layouts and I am choosing some labels from Illustrated Faith. I purchased these from their website, they're digital, so I have the file and I just print them on white cardstock when I run out and because they're a digital file I'll never run out of them completely I always have them on hand it was really easy to find colors that matched my layout too which made me really happy so I'm going to cut out two and I'm going to adhere them above my photos I will cut them down and then I will glue them kind of staggered above my photo and then I will write the journaling off camera but you will be able to see that in the close-ups at the end of the video. Once I get my journaling labels adhered down to the layout I'm going to go ahead and bring in these little clear stars from Buttons Galore and more. I got those when I was part of their design team and I haven't used them all up yet and so I'm just going to dump them out on top of my layout. I'm going to use a jewel picker and some glue dots to adhere them to my layout. The stars are going to be my finishing detail for this layout. I will, of course, add that journaling off camera. You'll be able to see that and the stars really well in the close-ups at the end of the video. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel today. I realize that you can get inspiration from anywhere on the internet, and I'm really happy that you have come to my channel to see what I'm up to. If you liked my video, please click the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I do interact with my subscribers here on YouTube. I will answer your questions and I will chat with you as well if you just want to say hi. Make sure that you also check that description box below my video. There is a collab collaborative playlist for the month for these videos there will be a new sketch each day for the month of march so make sure that you come back and check that collaborative playlist every day and see the new videos added these are great sketches and some talented people created those sketches and it's just amazing what these ladies are doing i hope you have a great day bye